So what am I saying? In school, they won't teach you this. There's several types of business. You got traditional business, corporations. That's fine. Get a job just so you can get your feet wet. You got to pay the lights. You got to pay the water bill. You got to pay the gas bill. You got to pay daycare. You got to have health insurance. Nothing wrong with a job. But that's where you get your feet wet so you can turn around and create them. Then you got franchising. Most of us don't have 2.5 million just to own a McDonald's and 500,000 just to get a Dunkin' Donuts. And we don't, have, we don't have that kind of money just laying around. Then you have what I do, which is non-traditional business. That's why I make non-traditional money. Because, here's the difference. You have to learn that you can give yourself a pay raise with the money that you currently make. See, a lot of us want to make more money to change our situation but you own a W-2. A 1099 with a W-2 allows you to have all the write-offs so that you can give yourself a seven dollars to $8,000 a year raise with the money from your job. <laughs> so you don't have to have a big business with a marquee so you can feel like you're a business owner. Abel hey, Mabel said it best. That's the problem in Atlanta. We all want to look like something. Me and Mark call them prude hoods. <laughs> Prudence. Like, uh, a lot of people think you gotta have a business with a big, you gotta have big things and big, you don't. It's not about flash. A business is just a tax ID number in a folder. That's all it is. All you need is a tax ID number and some paperwork. Now when you drive your car, you write off some of your trips. When I went to Maui, I kept the receipts because I told somebody about my business. So now my vacation because becomes something that the government can't tax me on. I went to Monaco, where a hamburger cost $65 US. That's a $65 hamburger. You better believe it came off my taxable income. <laughs> In fact, everything was on me. You get two of them, you get two of them too. Because you need write-offs, but you can't do it with a W-2. It's a shift in what? Mentality. See, a W-2 says this. I'm going to work first, I'm going to pay my taxes second, and I'm going to spend third. That's why most people would check the check. Because you saying, boss, get yours. Government get yours, state, federal, FICA, everybody else get yours, then pay me what? Mine. Yes. But let me ask you a question, who work for it? <laughs> then why are you number three in line? <laughs> the government is telling you, legally, if you own, a, if you own your business, we change the game. Brother Allen said, look, become an entrepreneur. Why? Because we allow you to work first, we allow you to spend second, and then you pay your taxes when? Third. 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 There's a difference between the W-2 and the 1099. I keep hearing jobs, 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 and that's fine. But see me afterwards if you want to talk business, business, business. Here's the thing. Two more points and I'm done. 30 seconds or less. A job allows you to save $14,000 a year in your retirement account without penalty. 14000 That means if you have a job, the government is saying you can only save so much for the future without penalty. A, a 1099 says 41000 a year without penalty. So the government in so many words is telling you, open a business, open a business. All the tax breaks, open a business. Increase your income, open a business. If you don't have a, a 1099, every time you drive a mile, I want you to take about 40 cents and just throw it out the window, because that's what you're doing. <laughs> on your way to work, you should be writing off your gas mileage, because you should be talking business on your way to your job. Just take 40 cents and just chunk it. You know that little change you got? Just chunk it. I'm telling you, I went from ashy to classy. <laughs> I open a business. And I don't even use the word I. It was a consorted effort of a lot of mentors and a lot of awesome people that got me out of that mentality that somebody had to always give me something. So now I spent the last 14 years with a mentor to millions paying that 